Hi Aries, it's your girl from Amethyst Rose to Rose coming through to give you guys that energy check in. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, Aries, when you see this is when you're meant to see it. If you need to refer back to it later, please do. But this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. We're gonna see what is deemed most important for you to know at this time. All right, Aries, if you need personal, the information is below. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. What does Aries need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know at this time? Okay. Archangel Michael, please protect me as a channel of energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Please block the influence that stops their message from coming through. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. See what's going on for you, Aries. All right. Okay. Aries. Sun rising in the north node. The Empress. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. A Libra could want to apologize to you. Somebody could be pregnant. Yeah. Tell me more. Aries, someone rising in the North Node. Queen of Swords. Okay, somebody could have Air Holly Aspect, the Gemini Aquarius Libra, as I said. Okay, but there's a cycle coming to a close here. 66 could be significant for you. Somebody could have Cancer Holly Aspect as well. Tell me more. Death and Rebirth. Okay, with well, the Two of Swords. Somebody could have Scorpio highly aspected here. Listen, something is going and it's not stopping. This could be karma. The divine is driving the boat right now. Tell me more. <laughs> All right. We got the Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Cups with the Temperance, with the Emperor. Yeah, listen, something is at work right now. Something is at play. Somebody could be going through a transformation at this time. Whoever, whoever, this, this there's an Aries that is the Empress, if you're feminine, and of course you're the Emperor, being masculine, but somebody is divine here. It's like somebody is somebody determines who gets chosen. What? <laughs> yeah, this 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 is what this is giving me. Somebody who's somebody who has rank. Like if somebody like it's like somebody is auditioning for something. Tell me. More. It's, it's, it's like it's like somebody is auditioning. Like if somebody is auditioning for a role or something. This is somebody who like sits in the director's chair or they determine who does what. Boss energy. Yeah, that's your energy, Aries. Tell me more. What's going on? Ace of Cups? With the high priestess? Somebody could be very, very intuitive, psychic. Wow. Okay. Tell me more. Aries, someone rising in the North Node. What's the message? Thank you. Eight of Swords. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. The Three of Cups. So somebody has broken generational curses here. Yes. Somebody definitely um, has Scorpio highly aspected, but yeah, somebody has broken curses in their lineage. Something is being restored here. Tell me more. This is for Aries. Someone rising in the North Node. Page of Wands. This could have started as a child. The magician with the hermit. With the sun. So you can enlighten people. Yes. You help others break chains. Somebody could actually do something in divination here. Or you could be like a root worker. A spiritual practitioner. Yes. It's like you unbind people. You help people like with their protection work. Somebody could be like a, um, a motivational speaker or um, somebody who does something that like inspires others. Like that's their profession. It's teaching people how to love themselves, protect themselves, take care of themselves. Teaching people how to ascend and elevate. Giving people a reason to celebrate. Somebody also may be celebrating something work related here. Somebody could have started this business from scratch. Somebody could be a doula here is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Nice. Nice spread, Aries. Let's get more messages for you, though. Somebody's a magician. They're divine. Like, somebody's name holds weight in the spiritual world. Like, or the spiritual realm, rather. It's like they know you behind the rim. They know you. The number three could be significant. The number 33 could be significant as well. The number eight could be significant. The number 88 could be significant as well. But what I'm getting is specifically for some people, you're 33 years old and you were born at 88. Okay, what's the empress? Okay, justice. Okay, Libra energy come through. Listen, somebody, somebody's justice is being pregnant and people hate it. Some people may hate that you're pregnant, Aries, if you are. But you are protected, yeah. Some people could be trying to frighten you on what's to come or, you know, somebody could have, <laughs> okay. Um, somebody could have actually trapped you in a pregnancy, but they're getting they're getting karma for that. What's the um can I get another one please for the Empress? For Aries, Sun Moon Rising in the North Node. Like somebody actually doesn't like being pregnant because they felt like the person trapped them, or take it how it resonates. It could go the other way around. If you're masculine, you can feel like this feminine trap juice or you're not excited or happy about this, but they're going to get karma for that. Can I get another one, please, for the Empress? The devil, yeah. There could be a Libra that, that's very toxic or this person could have, that has Libra um, highly aspected or this pregnant person could be very toxic. This pregnant person could also be a Capricorn 
who could have trapped somebody and got somebody, you know, or whatever, you know, however, take it however it resonates, but somebody is getting, um, they're getting karma for whatever that is over there, okay? Now, what, um, can I get one for, um, the death card? Okay, two of pentacles. Okay, there could be a Scorpio that's juggling you, Aries. Yeah. Somebody is, is going back and forth here. Can I get another one, please, for the death card? Yeah, there's a third party situation here. Tell me about this uh, death card for Aries. Why is the death card here? The hangman, yeah. With the seven of cups, somebody could be confused here. They're thinking about it. It's like somebody's weighing their options. Go watch the Scorpio reading. And this could be flip-flop for you. Kind of the same energy in that area. Yeah. All right, can I get one for the um, the Ace of Cups? Temperance. Yeah, go watch the Scorpio reading. Yeah. What I'm getting for you is time for some new love. It's time for some new love. Yeah, you have to make your mind up, Aries. Yeah, so that the divine can work with you on whatever this is. Yeah, so you can get your counterpart. So you can get an empress, a real one, or emperor, a real one. Take it how it resonates. Yes. But I'm getting that you love yourself a lot. Somebody is in a very high vibration. They say what needs to be said. They don't they're not afraid to say it at all. And cause they're no they know they're co-signed by the divine. It's like they can say something and then people can actually see it come into fruition. They have backing on the other side, like I said. Tell me about this Queen of Swords for Aries. Thank you. The King of Cups. So you may have cut off this Scorpio or you need to. Somebody is making you an option, putting you in a third party situation. They're trying to decide on you. Listen, this person could have Libra Holly aspected for you. You could work with them or something that's work related. They could deal with somebody at work. That could be who they're deciding between. Give me give me one for the Eight of Pentacles, please, for Aries. The Three of Cups. Listen, threes are all over the same. Five of Wands, that's competition. Yeah, somebody is definitely, yeah. So this is a wake up call here, Aries, for some of you. Um, some of you could already have this person blocked. But if you don't already, if this has not already happened for some of you, it I mean, it this is for your protection. Somebody is trying to trap you that's male or female. I mean, sorry, yes, male or female. I said it correctly. Yes. But if you'll just kind of hold off a second, you know, you do have something coming in. But yeah, three of pentacles, three of cups, three of cups again, three of swords. Yeah, with the two of pentacles, there's somebody is juggling. It's time for you to cut somebody out and see and, you know, time for you to love you a little more. Aries, if this is the case, if you're dealing with somebody and you feel like they're juggling you, they are. Yeah, they're just trying to keep you bound. And Hangman and Eight of Swords energy, the devil, they want to keep you bound to them and have the other person as well. Yeah. But take it how resonates, Aries. Can we get a Divine Abundance card for Aries, please? My Testimony by Marvin Sapp off the album I Win. Yeah, 
so you don't have a reason to celebrate here. You know, choose you, Aries. If this is the case, it doesn't. It doesn't look like this person is. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't look like they love you very much. I mean. I mean, you have the ace, you have the ace of cups out here, but that's representing your energy. Should be love of self. And yes, but there's a Scorpio that's wishy-washy and back and forth between you and somebody else. Could be a pregnant Libra or a pregnant Capricorn or a Sagittarius. You definitely should go watch the Scorpio reading if you relate to any of this. All right. Divine Abundance Oracle card, please, for Aries. Please and thank you. Wrap that reading up. Humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Yeah. You got to be open. Accept the truth. And allow them to assist the divine, okay? Allow them to assist you. Something is time for something. It's time for something new. Even if you're not interested in romance after this, it's still time for you to make a decision. Okay? Uh, grief, tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. Somebody else got this last night. Uh, one of the air signs, maybe. All right. That is your reading, Aries. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.